Hi. Now in the first part of this question, we're asked to draw a tree diagram to represent this information here. So if you haven't tried this already, good opportunity just to pause the video, give it a go and compare your methods to mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So let's just read through the problem first of all. We've got a manufacturer carried out a survey of the defects in their soft toys and it is found that the probability of a toy having poor stitching is 0.03 and that a toy with poor stitching has a probability of 0.7 of splitting open. A toy without poor stitching has a probability of 0.02 of splitting open. So how do we go about drawing a tree diagram to represent this information? Well, first of all, we're going to look at the types of stitching that we can get. There's two things that can happen. The stitching is either good or it's poor. So we just have here good stitching Right, good stitching and down here would have poor stitching. Obviously you can put poor stitching at the top, it doesn't matter, and then good stitching below. And then dependent on the type of stitching we've got, we're told that the toy may split open or it might not. So again we've got two outcomes here. So for each of these outcomes. So let's just put in those two something like that. So we can say that the toy will either split open, okay, split open. And we can say here that it does not split open. So we we'll just say not split open. Okay, quite a lot to write I think but uh, there we go split open again and we've got not split open so all we need to do now is just put our probabilities on so what's the probability that her toy has poor stitching well we're told that that is found that the probability of a toy having poor stitching is 0.03 so you can just write 0.03 there and that would mean that since these probabilities have to add up to 1 this must be 0.97 then it says a toy with poor stitching has a probability of 0.7 of splitting open so if we've got a toy with poor stitching then the probability that it will split open, this branch here, has to be 0.7. Which means then that this probability has to be 0.3 to make it up to one whole one. We're also told that a toy without poor stitching, so in other words a toy with good stitching, has a probability of 0.02 of splitting open. So that must be this one here good stitching and then splitting open it's got a probability of 0.02 these two must add up to one so that must mean this must be 0.98 all right so that's a reasonable tree diagram then to draw for this problem